Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kia. Um, I go by K Renee. Um, that's what you'll see on all my social media. So if you see K, that's me. Um, so by the title, you guys already know why you're here. It is two weeks post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, if you are thinking about the surgery or want to know how you can get this surgery and you're wondering what the steps are to take the surgery, I'm going to make another video for all that. Um, so look out for that video and I'll explain the whole process, um, what I had to go through um, to actually get the surgery, how to get insurance to pay for the surgery. And, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about why I decided to do the surgery. Um, but I am two weeks post-op um, and I feel great. Like, um, since I came home, I mean, I know I couldn't drink as many liquids um, the first day, but as probably about the fourth day, like I was drinking pretty good. I was staying, keeping hydrated. I didn't feel dizzy. I didn't have dark pee. Um, so I felt really proud of myself that I recovered really well from the surgery, um, because a lot of people have complications. Um, I was with a, a group of people, um, maybe it was like maybe five others that had surgery the same day and we were all on the same floor and we would be walking together, um, you know, kind of encouraging each other. And a lot of them had complications afterwards, um, unless we all are in a group chat, but they all had other surgeries too. So some of them had the bypass and then some of them had the RMY, uh, which is similar uh, to the bypass. Um, so week two, I am finally off of my liquid diet. I have been having nothing but Gatorade and broth and I'm over it. Like, I don't wanna see no Gatorade right now. I don't wanna see no broth. I don't wanna see no Jello, nothing, okay? So I'm on to the puree stage um, in my diet. So everything that I have to eat pretty much has to be chopped up really, really good. Um, so right now what I can eat is mashed potatoes, um, chicken salad, uh, tuna salad. It has to be like really, you know, chopped up. Um, mashed potatoes, I said that already. Um, ricotta bake. I haven't tried that, but I got the ingredients at Walmart today. So I'm going to try it. Um, use like ricotta cheese, a little marinara, and some mozzarella on top. And I'm going to see how that do, you know. Um, what else can I have? Oh, I bought some refried beans. So I'm going to try that with a little cheese on top. Um, to see how um, see how that does on my tummy. Um, I had some eggs this morning. It was okay. Um, I could tell I was holding back. So I probably didn't eat as much as I possibly could have. But I just, my worst fear is getting sick. That's one thing I do not want to do. I do not want to get sick. Um, and you can basically get sick by either eating stuff that are too sugary too soon or too at, or eating something that has too much fat too soon um, or just o simply overeating will make you like literally vomit. Like it will literally come right back up. And that's something I'm trying to avoid because I don't, I don't like throwing up. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to be dry heaving. So like any sign of like, my tummy is rumbling or it has, I feel like even the slightest bit of full, full, fullness, I stop. I'm like, mm -mm, not today. Not going to be me. Um, so um, I have a lot of people that have questions about my surgery and how, um, you know, they're really curious about it. Um, uh, it surprised me that a lot of people know about it and know somebody that has gone through it. Um, me personally, I had a couple of friends that I knew that had already went through it. Um, and so, um, this would, this is my second time attempting, um, the very first time I did, um, submit my paperwork, I kind of like chickened out. I was like, no, I'm gonna just diet and exercise. I'm gonna get it. Like, I don't need the surgery. So a year later, here I am still same weight, still unhappy. And I'm like, if I was just would have did it the first time i would have been a year out by now probably looking and feeling so much better so this second time um i was like i gotta do it there's no excuses i will not be having any excuses like we're gonna we're gonna do it this time so 
I'm very, very, very fortunate to have my surgery when I did because um, literally that next week they canceled all surgeries. So I would have been devastated if that was me. So I'm glad I got my surgery right in time. COVID is messing with a lot of people and I really feel bad. Um, but um, yeah, um, so we're gonna get right into it. Um, basically, I, I posted up a Q&A on my Instagram. Um, because I wanted to get some questions that people wanted to ask me and so that I can answer on my YouTube um, as my first video. Um, so I'm really, really excited, guys. Um, I plan to do a lot on my YouTube um, eventually, like when I hit my goals. Um, I want to start doing hauls on YouTube, um, trying on outfits, unboxing things. Like, I love that type of stuff. So, um, and I really want to be like motivational speaker because this takes a lot of mental and physical power to really like get through it daily daily it's a mental battle um with yourself and basically food like you want to eat this all this food but you can't you <laughs> you literally cannot and everybody around you is eating whatever they want and you just can't and um you know it's not for the week i'm telling you it's not for the week um so it's definitely a constant mental and physical battle um i definitely encourage anybody that wants to have the surgery to have it if you don't if you like to just diet and exercise i say go for that too i'm with both because you know the surgery is only a tool it's not a magic fix it's not plastic surgery you have to diet and exercise too so um so we're gonna get right into the questions and the answers so thank you guys for submitting your questions um i really really appreciate it and um, start with question number one. So I had got this one a couple of times. How do I feel? Um, I feel really good. Um, when I first woke up from the hospital, oh my God, I was so tired. Um, I just was so high off the, anest the anesthesia that like, I didn't know what was going on. My wig had came off. I had a bunch of gas on my stomach and like, I just felt like I was going to throw up. And that was the only time I felt nausea was when I first woke up. I'm like, Ugh, I need a burp. Like I was trying to make myself burp and I was feeling nauseous at the same time. So I was feeling like I was going to throw up, but I was trying to make myself burp because I was trying to get that gas up. Because when they do laparoscopic surgery on you, um, basically they don't cut you all the way open. I have five incisions on my tummy um, where they use a robot and a camera to perform the surgery. So when they do laparoscopic surgery, they have to blow your stomach up with air so that they can see what's going on in there. So when you come out, they try to push all the air out, but they don't, you know, get all of it. So I had a lot of gas and it was seemed like it was like right here. So I kept trying to burp and burp and I got a few burps out and it felt a lot better. And I immediately got up and started walking with my nurse, Whitney. I Shout out to you. She was the sweetest nurse ever. Um, and she was dealing with me. And I was like, I want to walk. Like, I need to get this gas up. Like, I want to walk. She's like, okay, okay. But I'm so, like, I'm out of it. Like, and I'm walking with my eyes closed. My nurse was like, baby, you got to you gotta open your eyes. You gotta, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I can barely, I'm barely conscious of what's going on. All I know is I need to walk. I need to get this gas off my stomach. So it took me, it took forever to get a room, but... When I woke up, I felt pretty fine other than the nausea and the gas. Um, I was just really, really tired. Um, the anesthesia, my back hurt. I had back pain. Um, I don't know if it was because of the little, that little table they have in the OR. Like when I went in the OR, I'm like, this is it. This is not what Grey's Anatomy looks like. Like this is it. This The table was like literally this wide. I'm like, I'm gonna get on it. <laughs> okay, so um. I woke up, I had back pain, and I was just really tired. Like, I just wanted to sleep. But, you know, they're encouraging you. They're coming in, like, every three hours. Like, you got to take this medicine, and you need to walk. And have you had a bowel movement? Have you peed? Da, 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 da. So I'm like, oh, gosh. So I was so tired. Like, I didn't really walk um, that first night. Well, that first, like, three to four hours, I was like, I'm sleeping. Like, I need to get some energy um, but I did end up walking more, probably like around 11, between 11 and 3 a.m. Like I was walking, walking, walking. Like all the nurses was half asleep and I was just walking around with my little IV pole, trying to get my laps in. 
Um, and then that next day, I was discharged like before noon. So I pretty got, I got up, got out of there pretty quick. Um, so I was really surprised with that. Um, yeah, and my and then the surgeon came in. I was laying down. I was I'm I was still tired. He was like, "You need to get up. You need to walk." And sitting like that, you're going to throw up. I'm like, I do not feel nauseous. I feel like I need a nap. Like, I wasn't hungry. I didn't really drink anything. I maybe ate one popsicle. Um, I had a couple sips of Gatorade. I ate like a bite or two of Jello. I was I wasn't hungry at all when I woke up. Like, even though I had not had any solid food in like 72 hours. Um, so, but I feel pretty good. I feel really. I'm not. You know, my energy's up and down some days. Like, I feel really energetic. Um, and some days, I just feel a sluggish. But I started my multivitamins today, so hopefully that changes. Um, question number two, was there any side effects? Um, other than um, other than you can't eat much, like, I get a lot of hiccups a lot, a lot of burping, a lot of TMI, um, a lot of pooping. Um, like I get a lot of gas in my stomach. So like if I eat something that has like milk, it makes my stomach really, really gassy. Um, I didn't really have like any side effects, um, from the surgery, like, or any complications, like other than, um, yeah, I didn't, there's not really any side effects so far. Um, you know, I'm only two weeks out. Um, I heard a lot of people sometimes have to get their gallbladder removed afterwards. And I hope rain that doesn't happen to you. Um, some people, you know, I haven't had any side effects so far. Um, I know long term, if you don't take your vitamins, um, then it could lead to, you know, some complications. So I start my vitamins today and I have to take them every day for the rest of my life. Um, so not really any side effects right now. Um, I heard acid reflux is a side effect. I haven't really experienced that yet. So or heartburn, but I haven't really experienced that yet. Um, third question: Did it hurt? No, <laughs> it did not hurt at all. Um, when the anesthesia, when I met with my anesthesiologist, he was really cute, by the way. He was like, you know, when they put the medicine in your IV, it's gonna like get warm and it might kind of tingle a little bit um and I was like okay he was like and we're gonna give you some pain meds before you wake up so when you wake up you're really comfortable I'm like okay so um I was laying in the bed and I'm waiting um we got to the OR and I'm just laughing with the nurses talking with the nurses trying to ease my anxiety my my nerves and you know she was like okay we're starting the medicine so I instantly felt it going in my IV and it was warm like it was like kind of like hot like kind of was uncomfortable um so um and I just remember looking up they put the oxygen on me and looking up and I was just looking up at the light and then next you know I'm waking up in recovery <laughs> so I mean the IV medicine was a little uncomfortable it was like warm burning feeling um but when I woke up I felt no pain like literally when he said he was gonna put the pain meds in before they woke me up they put the pain meds in and I was high as hell and I woke up, I didn't have any pain. Um, literally, I kept like sitting up, like I don't feel anything. I was looking at my stomach and looking at my incisions, like, did I even have surgery? Like, I, I don't feel anything. So, um, yeah, I didn't feel anything. Um, probably after the pain meds wore off, I was a little sore. Um, I still am sore now. Um, if I get up out the chair or if I am bending over, you know, sometimes I could feel a little soreness there, but, um, other than that, it's been no pain. Um, I don't have gas pain anymore, um, so that's good. Um, it's just mainly the soreness from the incision. But my incisions are healing just fine. Um, I had my staples removed a week ago. Um, I was really, really nervous about that because I've never. This is my first surgery, and I've never had staples. And I'm like, you're just gonna pl pluck them out like that, okay? Um, see, there goes the hiccups. Um, and she just literally plucked them up. Some of them get were like a little pinch, but some of them I didn't feel at all, and it was really quick and painless. Um, and then the next question is: Are you on liquid? Are you on liquids for ten days? And did you have to lose weight before the surgery? 
Um, I was on liquids for 14 days, two weeks. So I had to be on liquids for two weeks. So today marks my two week mark. I'm moving on to stage two with puree. Um, I did not have to lose weight, any weight before the surgery. Um, some insurances require um, for you to lose weight. They require you to do a six months program with your, you know, with the bariatric team. Um, my insurance did not um, require that. I have Blue Cross Blue Shield North Carolina, and also I had United Healthcare, but I am dropping United Healthcare um, this month. So I had two insurances. That's why I did not have to pay anything. Um, some people, if you meet your deductible, don't have to pay anything. Um, but yeah, liquids for, I had to be on liquids for 14 days. Um, I'm on this puree diet for another 14 days. And then after that, I can start soft foods. So I can start eating chicken and salmon, fish, um, vegetables. Um, and then like probably like two months, I will can start like, basically a regular diet just you know make sure that it agrees with your tummy and you know you want to keep ha making healthy choices you don't want to slip back into old habits because that's how people regain and it's possible for you to regain um on the sleeve because eventually your stomach is going to stretch back out a little bit so um you know you want to make sure you're still um eating healthy making the right choices because you know if you figure out ooh. My stomach doesn't bother a little pizza or a little pasta and then you start eating more there and you start slipping back in those old habits and then next thing you know you've gained 30 pounds after you lost 100 and you're like wtf so it's really like a lifestyle change it's not something like a quick fix it's like something you have to follow for the rest of your life and i'm committed um and then fifth Fifth question was, what surprised me most out of this surgery? Um, what surprised me most is, well, um, I've been on, I probably like a month before my surgery, I joined this uh, group on Facebook called Black Girls Get Sleep, Get Bypass and Sleep Too. Um, and on there, I was just reading people who had the surgery and all the horror stories that, you know, they were posting. And it was like really freaking me out. Like I almost, I mean, I was really having second thoughts, but like, Every time I would have a second thought about it, I would just stop, pray, and be like, Lord, you know, just cover my sh my surgeon. I'm praying that everything will be fine. Um, and, you know, it was really freaking me out. They were having all these side effects, all these complications, and, you know, they weren't feeling good, and they were just sick all the time, and they couldn't eat, and I was just like, is this something I really want to do? Like feel like that like I told y'all the one thing I'm trying to not do is get sick like mm -mm. so and so I'm like okay this is my second time I'm go I'm going for it at this time YOLO F it I'm going I'm doing the surgery so I did it and I I'm fine like some people are still struggling two and four weeks out and I feel fine other than now I'm gonna have to start focusing on my protein. It's gonna be like a little bit of adjustment from just the liquids. Um, I feel fine. Um, I feel, you know, almost like I didn't have the surgery other than, because I still have the mental appetite. You still have that old appetite, but your stomach, you just can't. Um, so, you know, I feel fine. Um, my stomach, everything I've tried so far has been agreeing. Um, I haven't felt sick from anything that I've tried and I'm praying praying that I don't um so that really surprised me how well my body um adapted to this major surgery because basically your body goes into shock after you have this surgery because literally they're taking a piece of your organ like 80 percent of your organ out <laughs> so it changes a lot of things um and I'll explain all the you know the what exactly VSG is in another video um but that really surprised me. I guess it's because I'm so young, um, but it's so helpful. But that thing that's what surprised me the most was that I did not have any of those uh, bad complications. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> my mom came, brought my daughter back. Um, but anyways, guys, Thank you so much for submitting your questions um, for my Q&A for my two weeks post-op. I'm very, very excited, y'all. Um, I can't wait to do one month post-op to give you guys an update, you know, of how much I've lost. 
Um, my stats are um, starting weight, um, well, highest weight, 309, so I knew I had a problem. Starting weight, 299, and currently I am at 280. So down a total of um, 27, uh, no, 29 pounds, um, 20 since surgery. Um, and so I'm hoping I can lose another 20 before January. Um, really, Kalani? And overall, my goal is 180, um, so 100 pounds to go. And I'm hoping to reach that goal by June of 2021. I'm super, super, super excited. Go watch the movie, Soul. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to follow my journey. Follow, um, please subscribe, like, and comment on my YouTube. Please support your girl's hustle. I will be bringing my podcast back soon, so please stay tuned for that. Um, it is called Uncensored Millennial. It will be coming back to Apple and Spotify so, so, so very soon, and I'm excited. Can't wait to see you guys there. I love you. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Bye. I love you guys. Say bye-bye. <laughs>